Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? We here at Grounded Sound Studio. We got the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Woe King. Yeah, Woe King. What's good, man? Yo, so the people want to know, I guess, a little bit about you. So we here, going, we're going to do this little interview. We're going to find out more about Woe King, the artist. So, first of all, where you from? Um, I was born and raised in Philadelphia. And a little later on in my life, I moved down to a little town called Blackwood to New Jersey. All right. South Jersey, right? South, South Jersey, yeah. South yep. Jersey, right? All right. All right. So, how long you been into the music? How long you been doing this music, man? I've been, I've been into music since I was like six years old because like, I had a lot of like heavy influence around me just musically. My pops, he did rap. My okay. step pops, he did rap. And yeah, I, I used to be like six years old, just freestyling, just just like hopping, just choosing a beat and then just freestyling. A lot of kids, they can't even say a lot of sentences at six years old. I was Dang. on a beat freestyling, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty dope. So you got any clips or videos when you were six rapping or anything? Yeah, I got clips. It's on it's on an old laptop though. Like hopefully it's not thrown away. I'd have to find a charger. But it was me and my it was me and my little brother Rico. Rico, yeah. Shout out little bro Rico. Shout out Rico, yeah. Yeah, that'd be dope though. If you ever blew up or whatever, have a little documentary with you when you were six rapping on it. That'd be crazy. He can get blamed for searches. I put the boy in the search. He can get break no purchase. Boom, boom, pow, no Fergie. I know my eyes lurking. She playing both sides. I know she not worth it. But, um, for sure. So let's talk about the influence. You said your step pops and your pops, right? They they rap. Your family members, they they, they were rappers. Mm -hmm. Okay. So was, was they like solo rappers or like groups or anything? Or was they... Was, do you know there was it part of any cliques or groups? Um, kind of just did it, did it on their own thing. I'm not, I'm not too sure about the cliques. I know my step pop, he he did have a group. It was like, yeah, it was like him and a bunch of my uncles. So yeah, yeah. back in the day, my era, yeah, that was the thing. The, the groups coming up with everybody had their little cliques and stuff. So you part of any cliques? You got any any? Would you consider yourself a solo artist, or do you rap with a group? Or I'm I'm for sure a a, a solo artist, but actually, uh, we going I do have a click. I'm not gonna lie, and we gonna shock the world. Uh, it's called Three Six Zero. Got my boy Fresh the Goat, uh, R S Keem, uh, S Dot, my guy Lil Hickey. You feel me? Hickey. Heck yeah. <laughs> Say what's up, man. Say what's up. Yeah, Press the goop. Gang, gang. Half of these niggas, they swearing they live, but these niggas don't do it like what? Half of these niggas, they talking to chat. None of these niggas is ready for smoke. Half of these niggas, they really be rats. All of these niggas, they really be jokes. Half of these niggas ain't real like that. All of you niggas, you really be smoke. So, getting back to the influences, any are there any mainstream artists that influenced you? Uh yeah for sure uh in my eyes I I would say my main influence would probably be like Future for sure and I just got on, I just got into like I knew Future it was always hard but I just got into Future like probably like twenty twenty and okay yeah but a lot of people say that they could hear a lot of Lil Uzi Vert or Juice World in my music but I wouldn't even lie Lil Uzi Vert is my favorite rapper so I could definitely see all that. But when I hop in the studio, you know, I just try to be woke king. Okay. I, and, and it's funny you said that because when you say that, I can hear the combination of them making you your own style. Okay. These new personalities changing up reality. New personalities changing up my robbery. I don't care what you're doing, baby. Just don't lie to me. We will go. We've been through just hoping you ride me. So, let's talk about any projects. You got any projects out there right now? Any um, anything coming up? 
Where can we hear your music at? Um, I actually I got two tapes out. I got Whoa Rage. It's just a bunch of hype rage music that make you want to punch the wall and just bang your head on a tree or some crazy stuff. I also got a Blitz. Blissum. I got Blissum. Better Your Health, Planet Window. B- B- currently, Better Your Health is my highest stream. But if we talking like music video and all that, Blissum, number one. Mm. Yeah. So Blissum, how, how did you how did you come up with that track? Like what what was your what was going through your mind when you sit there and you come up and you just it just come to you, Blissum. <laughs> blitz, 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 blitz. Yeah. Pop, shit. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, to keep it a stack, I was on FaceTime with some girl and I was like, yo, what type of song should I make? And she was like, she was like, I, I was like, should I make some like melodic shit or should I make some like hard shit? Like some hard shit. She was like, make some hard shit. I was like, all right, bet. And I and I and I went and picked, I, I went and found, I went and uh, found the beat and I was like, yeah, I'm ready to hop on this drum. And I heard the beat, I'm just like, oh yeah, like I don't even know. Like I, I really hear too many people say like blissum, but it just popped up. I heard the beat, I'm just like, I, F it, blissum. I ain't gonna lie, I think the word kind of even caught locally around in our area after that track. Yeah, you know, I yeah, right. It, like the word more, honestly. You know, I'm a little older, but maybe the word was out there, but I, I do hear people talk about. They gonna blitz somebody. Yeah, exactly. Like but um, so first rapper. Any any <laughs> projects you got out there? Um, currently, any current projects out there right now? Other than the you said blitz them. Uh, what's the, better your health? Better your health. Yeah. All right. Um, but you, you got an album out right now too, right? An uh, album. I don't got no albums out, but I do. Uh, I do got two tapes. Okay. But, Actually, let, let me talk about uh, Better Your Health real quick. Okay. Honestly, I think it's like the crazy, like nobody, like it'd be hard to believe it when you really think about how woke the track is. When I was doing Better Your Health, because I like, I punch in like all my, all my songs, like nothing's written. So when I was doing Better Your Health. So you said you punch it in. So you, you record yourself? Yeah, I record all myself. Right, we're going to talk about that. All right, go ahead. Back to your story. All right. <laughs> so yeah, so I was, I was recording Better Your Health. And you can ask, you can ask Fresh the Goat. Fresh the Goat was there. I was literally playing 2K in the middle of recording, just like this. I had the controller up and my TV right there. And I was literally singing into the mic as I'm playing a mic rare game. Get the fuck out of here. I swear to God, all my life. Fresh the Goat, I'm Kevin. You feel me? <laughs> you recorded this song while you was playing the game? While I was playing 2K. And I was saying the most woke stuff. Uh-huh. You can lie to me, What'd but you, you can never lie. That were you, since you're saying 2K. Xbox or PS? PS4, you know. And yeah, I'm PS game for sure. Oh, uh, shit. I thought you was going to say Xbox. I was going to have to take your money. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know you can't. You know you can't we, be even okay. We're get into that, though. But, um... <laughs> All right, so back to your better your health. You said my man said he made that playing two K, playing two K, and it ended up being my most street for sure. Damn! So shout out to two K for that for making this man's being this man's inspiration to come up with the, one of his number one stream pieces of work. So you record yourself? Yeah. Damn, so how's that? Um, honestly, I kinda like being in like just the environment. Like just like in a room by myself. I, f- I feel like it could be no limitations. Like you could you could go ahead and say some like goofy stuff and then like be like, nah, low key I wanna keep that, like don't have no other say. You could just be yourself. I mean I could be I, I record my brothers in a room sometimes too. Yeah. And it's the same stuff, but See, that's yeah. dope because I know a lot of people, I know I know people with their own studios, including myself, like, I just find it hard or awkward to even record myself. And I know enge- other engineers that will reach out to me to record them because they don't like recording themselves. So that that's another skill within itself, mm-hmm. you know? And then, uh, but you definitely got your sound down packed, too. And that's what's up. Appreciate it. So me, as an audio engineer, I got to give you credit on that because... Vocals be they be crispy. Appreciate it. 
Um, so how long you did that? How long? Because you now you're not just an artist; you're also an audio engineer. Then. Yeah. So honestly, when I first started like recording music, I was on this level like this level. What is it? I don't even know if it's called a software. I, I don't know. I'm gonna call it a website. Soundtrap. Never heard of it. <laughs> Soundtrap. It's like real, like it's easy to use, but it's like yeah. the no, quality ain't yeah, fully there. Probably limited, no plugins. Yeah, no plugins, no none of that. Yeah. So when I first hopped on Soundtrap, I guess it like kind of taught me like little basics at first. And when I first hopped on uh FL Studios, it was a little it was a little challenging at first, but I was easy to pick up on a lot of stuff because I was familiar with a lot of words. And a lot of stuff that I was seeing yeah, from we, we Soundtrack. We're going to keep it real. It's easy nowadays. You, you get a little template off of somebody online. Throw that template on there. <laughs> your own way. Bow, bow. Yeah. yeah. Nah, but yeah, when I was coming up, we had uh, like weird little softwares like Soundforge and Mixcraft. And, yeah, I ain't like, hear those. But yeah, but it kind of sounds can't. like what you was describing you used first. Yeah. I'm walking with So, what you got working on that you got coming up? What projects is can we expect? And you know, shout out to your gram handles and everything where we can find you and get at you. Uh, well. I'm about to drop a track next, actually next week. It's called uh, Walk In. It's a nice little, with this song, it's like, I don't know, I feel like it's just a perfect sound. Like, it's a very, it's a very undeniable sound. I'm actually dropping that next week. Uh, a lot of my boys, I, I I played them a little bit of the song. It was like, yo, like, this might be your best drum. Also, That's what's up. That's what's up. yeah, I'm also working on a tape currently. Title, it's complicated. Um, it's gonna be real different from everything, everything y'all heard from me so far, because this is like a more of a focused tape. Like everything I dropped, like I wouldn't even call that me turning it up yet. Like that was just like all right, I know they're gonna like this, so let me drop this. But this is like I know like it's this tape gonna be real undeniable because I know everybody gonna be able to relate to it. It's gonna be focused more on the aspects of like love and like being in a relationship type stuff, but it's still going to be some hard body joints on there. You might get some love songs. You might get some fuck you. You did be dirty type shit. <laughs> so yeah, like er everybody got at least everybody had at least one instances where it's just like, or oh, I like this girl. Or I like this boy or yeah. Some people had 20 instances. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, somebody, somebody had, had yeah. Every month, somebody got them instances every month, but <laughs> but yeah. So I feel like everybody gonna really fuck with this one heavily. All right, so where can we find you at? Or anybody want to contact you for features? And you charging for features? What's up? You reached that status yet? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm for sure charging for features. That's what's up. But yeah, so if y'all want any features, hit my hit my man up. Hit me up on Gram at um u m woking. Uh, my email um woking at gmail dot com. I answer everybody DM. Might not be super fast, but I'm going to answer you. All right. You got any shows coming up? I do got a show coming up. I'm actually performing February 19th. Shout out They Got Bands. I'm performing with my uh, with my bros. Yeah, shout out They Got Bands, man. Yeah, We're They Got Bands. We're supposed to work, man. Yeah. I'm supposed to work, too. Hit ground the sound up, They Got Bands. Matter of fact, yeah, since we talk about this, yeah, They Got Bands, he actually putting on, he actually, like, nobody even noticed, but he actually putting on heavy for, like, Everybody that's up and coming. Yeah. Like he's doing a lot of the dirty work. And Supera. Supera, you can find him on a lot of people tapes, like either doing cover work or doing beats or features. Supera, yeah, he be going he be going hard. Shout out Supera. That's what's up, man. How you gonna lie and look at my eyes? Yeah, like oh my god. 
bitch in the back of my rod If she get hypnotic, it's so hypnotic Honey, they say I'm gothic I'm a problem, but can I solve it? <laughs> yeah Alright, so know. We're gonna wrap this interview up For sure, Ski Give him that gram one more time At I'm Woking, U-M-W-O-A H K I N G. You can find my Apple Music at Woe King exclamation mark. Spotify Woe King exclamation mark. SoundCloud Woe King exclamation mark. Check me out. You feel me? I got everything you need musically. We out. I'm trying to hop in a Rari. I cannot fuck any bitch. Any bitch is gonna try to put me on Barbie. Have any bitch be sorry.